My name's Todd Curtis. I'm a professor here, assistant professor of physics, and I teach what is my, my favorite subject, which is the subject of, of physics. And I, I love, love getting to teach physics at, at a Christian institution. You know, for me, my passion is thinking about and looking at and really studying who God is as a creator. And so being able to share that with my students, that what we're studying isn't just physics, but really a description of how God created the world to work. And as a result, we see aspects of his nature, at least a small piece of it, him as a creator in what we do. And so I love getting to kind of share that with my students. I live not far from the university on a little bit of property with my beautiful wife, Amy, and our big fuzzy dog, Gus, that you'll probably see throughout the semester. We just love being together, hanging out, and being in God's nature. We do a lot of things in our yard and property. We raise chickens, do a lot of uh, kind of gardening and landscaping and stuff. I like to jokingly tell people that my yard is my gym. I use my pickaxe and shovel. That's how I get my work out um, because I just love being outside in God's creation. I love seeing all the weird and beautiful things that he creates and makes for us, whether it's the weird fungus and mushrooms that grow in our, in our backyard or just watching how in just a few months I can take a little tiny seed, put it in the ground, give it the right conditions, and all of a sudden I have this massive sunflower bigger than my head. It's a beautiful process and so it's one of my biggest hobbies. I can still remember actually when I was in college, I had a physics professor in, in a very loving, caring way, just come up to me and be like, Todd, like, I'm just curious, like, how can you be a Christian and study physics? Like to her, they're so incompatible. But like for me, it was something that was growing together at the same time. And so the challenge that that question provides us and our culture and Christians today is part of why I'm here and, and why I love teaching. And so my, my love of Christ has just grown over the years. And that's a big part of how I ended up at Fox. I wanted to be somewhere where I could both teach the amazing physics of the world, but also challenge people to think about the creator that I believe is behind that and to think about how faith and science can be integrated.